this is a, a case of a male patient of uh, 68 years old. This patient uh, was operated uh, uh, three or four months ago uh, uh, for a, a colon uh, a tumor. And the uh, pathology examination of the resected specimen show a neuroendocrine tumor of the colon. Now the problem is that the patient has uh, a mesenteric mass, uh, which is probably uh, um, a lymph node, uh, and the goal of, of the US is to uh, try to see this, uh, this mass and to perform a biopsy to confirm or not if this uh, mass is a relapse of the neuroendocrine uh, uh, tumor. And uh, just before to perform the biopsy, we plan to, uh, to use the uh, contrast and uh, uh, imaging using the Sonoview uh, to uh, confirm uh, uh, that the lesion is uh, as an apparent which is also a good sign uh, for the diagnostic of a neuroendocrine tumor. And for this examination, I will use the therapeutic scope uh, from Pentax, the EG3870 uh, UTK. Uh, it's connected to the previous uh, uh, scanner, US scanner from, uh, from Itachi. I will try to, uh, to check the first the, uh, the, celiac, uh, the celiac area. And this is the aorta with the celiac trunk here. This is the celiac trunk and the superior mesenteric artery. And I think the, the lesion should be, uh, should, should be uh, in, this, uh, in this area. This is the, the left lobe of the liver. If I don't find the lesion transgastrically, I will try to find the, the, the lesion uh, uh, trans uh, duodenally. Okay, this is the left lobe. I check the left lobe to see if there is uh, some uh, small liver location. And here I see that there is something probably here. Here we have, uh, we have probably a node here in the hepatic, uh, in the hepatic hilum. Here. This is a node of uh, 18 millimeters. Okay. Now I will, uh, I will pass into the duodenum to see if uh, I will see better the, the lesion because I don't see the lesion described by the, by the CT. Now sometimes we have some difficulty to pass here. We succeed, and uh, I'm in a bulbous here. This is the the gallbladder, and now I will try to to go deeply in the in the duodenum. This is the head of the pancreas, and uh, I will try to to find the the, the node. We have some difficulty to pass. I need the more, little bit more sedation. But I don't pass here. And sometimes when, when you have this difficulty to pass into the, it's better not to, uh, to, to force and because we have a risk of, uh, of, of perforation and uh, it's better to wait and to do the examination in this position. Here you see it's interesting, we, ha we have a small amount of ascites here which is uh, probably uh, the sign of uh, 
suspicion of peritoneal uh, carcinomatosis. Here you see this ascites here. This is the head of the pancreas. Here we have the inferior vena cava, the aorta, and the superior mesenteric artery. And probably the, the lesion in the, is in this area. Now I will try to, to go deeply. This is the aorta, the inferior vena cava. And uh, if I don't see the, now I succeed to go slowly, slowly in the, deeply in the, in the duodenum. But I don't see the lesion here. I come back into the stomach and I, I saw one, uh, one note, I will, uh, probably it's uh, less dangerous to perform the biopsy at this level mm -hmm. than to try to pass into the, the duodenum and to, uh, to try to have, uh, to have a perforation. I will try again to see the the node transgastrically. Here we have a small node here, but this is, uh, and we have another one here, which is probably uh, easier to target. Yes, here we have uh, these two nodes. And uh, now I will use the first, the elastography. And here you see that this node here is, uh, is blue, uh, it's very hard. And, and this is uh, suspicious for, uh, for malignancy. And here we have uh, also the ratio. And you see that this ratio is uh, very high. And the cutoff for the node seems to be a 10. Here we have uh, the 19, which is highly suspicious of, uh, for a malignancy or, or, or of this node. Okay. Now, I will... Uh, And ah. and you see this uh, this node and we show the size of this node. Ah. This is quite ten millimeters, but we have multiple nodes. Eh? One here, one here, probably another here. And this is the left, uh, the left adrenal gland here. But I think here the, Now we prepare the, the uh, machine for the contrast. And this is the contrast imaging here. This is the, the normal imaging here with the node. Here you see the node here. 
We have a, a mechanical index 0 0.2. This is the mechanical index needed uh, to use the, the Sonoview. Sonoview is the contrast agent that we will use. And the goal of the Sonoview is to enhance the microvascularization of the lesion. And for uh, the uh, neuroendocrine tumor, we expect to have uh, an enhancement of the lesion after the injection of Sonoview. Now we inject the, we inject the Sonoview, and the injection is, uh, is followed by the, the flushing of 10 milliliters of uh, saline. And this is the, the node before the injection, and you, you will see the, the microbubble uh, the microbubble will arrive uh, quite uh, quickly. Here you see the bubble arrive around the, the, the node. And here you see the, the microbubble inside the, the node here. And we have no, uh, no uh, huge enhancement uh, of, the, of the node. The node stay uh, hypo. Uh, in the literature uh, re regarding, the, regarding the, the, uh, the use of Sonoview uh, for, the, for the node, it's different than, uh, it's different than the, the pancreatic lesion. Huh? Uh, malignant nodes are uh, mainly there is no enhancement because the, no the, 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 the vessels in the middle of the node is uh, involved and blocked by the, by the malignant cells. Uh, the only node in which we have, uh, we have uh, a huge enhancement is the node with, uh, 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 with a lymphoma. Uh, the lymphoma we, we have, um, and the inflammatory nodes also are enhanced. And the malignant nodes, you have a peripheral enhancement and no enhancement of the, uh, of the lesion. But here we expect to have an enhancement because it's a neuroendocrine tumor, but this is not ipso facto uh, shown uh, in, uh, in this uh, kind of, uh, of lesion here. But we we are sure that this node is malignant. Maybe uh, the, the origin is another cancer than the, the neuroendocrine tumor. It's for this reason that it's very important to now to perform the, 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 the biopsy of this, uh, of this node. And here you see that we have, uh, we have no enhancement of this, uh, of this, uh, of this node with uh, just uh, a peripheral enhancement, but no uh, central enhancement. Okay. Okay, now it's uh, uh, important to have uh, to have the to perform the biopsy of this node. I will I will use the histology needle because uh, it's uh, important to know if it's an endocrine tumor to have the uh, the ka the ka uh, the ki uh, the ki sixty seven, and it's easier to obtain uh, with. Uh, with a microcore than with uh, uh, a cytology. But here it's not easy to, to manipulate this needle because the node is small. But we can, uh, it's better to use this new needle because the, the biopsy is done when you push the needle, in the contrary than with the procore needle in which the biopsy is performed when we remove the needle. And uh, I think I'm more confident with this needle, in this case, than using the standard Procore uh, needle. Here you see the needle, I target the, the lesion. Now I pass inside the lesion, you see. Now I'm inside. We, I see very well the, the tip of the needle here. Now you can remove the stylet. Again, is the special stylet, and and this needle has a very sharp, 
a very sharp uh, tip and is easy to, uh, to enter in and to pass the gastric wall. Okay, open, open, open. Okay, now I will push the, the needle to obtain the, the core. I push two or three times. Here you see very well the, the needle cutting the node. Here, here, here. Now I change a little bit the position of my scope, moving with the big wheel of the scope. Okay, I think it's probably enough. And you see very well the, the needle inside of this uh, small node here. Okay. Okay, now the examination is finished. Now, I will try to show you the, the results of the biopsy. You introduce the stylet. And here you see we have a, we have a nice uh, micro core. Here you have a nice stop stop. You have a nice uh, cloth with uh, inside small, uh, uh, small core of tissue. And you see that we have a nice uh, specimen, even if the lesion is small. Huh? Ah, here, here, you see, you have uh, some whitish, whitish tissue just here. The whitish tissue here. And this is a, a real biopsy. Huh?